Welcome to Quaint Corner Children's Museum and Discovery Center, where the whole family can learn and play together. Make Quaint Corner a fun part of your visit to Altoona, where kids can be climbers, pirates, where families can learn and create, or make music together, be a veterinarian, or go shopping. Quaint Corner Children's Museum and Discovery Center in Altoona, where families come together to learn and have fun. Today isn't a typical exploration. This is one of those locations that are full of positivity and hope rather than decay and abandonment like most of the locations showcased on this channel. Today we visit the Quaint Corner Children's Museum that just so happens to be in one of the most beautiful Victorian mansions that I've ever been inside. Though the place has had a slight facelift over the years geared toward children's education, much of the mansion has its original features that you can see in every room. The best part is obviously open to the public and you can explore this place with your kids. So let's go check it out. I also should add that this place probably would be in disrepair by now had Susan Foreman not saved it in 1986. And she's no longer involved, but now it is nonprofit. But uh, such a good cause. It's always nice to see a success story with these buildings because otherwise most go abandoned. Before we go any further, let's get into the history of this house. The Quaint Corner Children's Museum and Discovery Center is housed in a historic mansion built in 1893 by Daniel O'Rourke, a prominent local contractor who also worked with the Pennsylvania Railroad. He and his wife, Mary Magdalene, raised eight of their own children and three of Mary's children from a previous marriage in this house, a total of 11 children. The architects who designed the house were the Beezer Brothers, a nationally known firm who also designed the original Lifeswind cottages on Logan Boulevard. The Beezer Brothers, a firm headed by twin Louis Beezer and Michael J. Beezer, was a Seattle architectural firm with many commissions across Washington State, most notably in Walla Walla. This well-managed partnership is best known for its architectural contributions to the Catholic community of Seattle, Washington State. One of their buildings, Edward J. O. Dia High School, 1923 to 1924, located at 802 Terry Avenue, is a significant extant example of the Gothic Revival style in Seattle. In Walla Walla, the Baker Boyer Building was that city's first skyscraper, and the First National Bank of Walla Walla, now First Federal Savings Bank, is considered their bank masterpiece. Born on July 6, 1869 in Belfont, Pennsylvania, Lewis and Michael Beezer came to architecture early in their closely connected lives. Work with a construction company business introduced Lewis to architecture. By age 21, he was a building foreman in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Lewis returned to Altoona after a few years of architectural study in Pittsburgh. In 1892, he and his brother Michael began their three-decade partnership. From 1900 to 1907, before their arrival in Seattle, the brothers designed a number of Pittsburgh churches and houses. Their Seattle business thrived immediately upon their arrival in 1907. This probably resulted from the team's management practices. These are just a few examples of the Beezer brothers' accomplishments.
I've never seen a railing like this ever. As you guys know, I love railings. This is a great example of an old railing. Let's get a shot of that. cool thing about this place is the kids get a hands-on experience in here uh, it's not the type of museum where you can't you know touch anything uh, every room has a different theme whether it be a science room or a music room or in a veterinarian room which you'll see later but uh, there's a theme in every room and it's you learn something different and uh, even an adult can learn some stuff in here I mean there's stuff in here that I'm not educated on but uh, it's a really cool experience. It's original fireplace. You gotta love these curved windows. You don't see that anywhere anymore. I love this little grocery store. I really like the animal hospital room. Uh, there's a lot to learn in here and there's actual x-rays of skeletons, like animal skeletons. So kids can really get a feel for you know, what it's like to be a veterinarian.
basement's pretty neat. It's like a pirate ship, sand, beach, uh, jungle. Uh, there, there's a lot going on down here. And there's also some rock climbing on the wall, which you'll see in a minute. But there's a lot to do down here. And if I was a little kid, I would have so much fun down here. But I'm too big to climb the wall right now. Michael Allison and Emily Gutshaw are two local artists who did the murals throughout this place, and uh, they're amazing. I think they did a fantastic job, and it's always awesome to see you know, local artists get involved in these locations. Also, if you do find your way in the basement here, see if you can find this Jolly Roger and this pirate hidden in the clouds. It's pretty neat the detail down here that you don't really notice at first glance. Pocket doors are there. We go. Oh, that's actually pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Once you get that, no. once you get it going. Unfortunately, due to the current status of the world and the current pandemic, Quaint Corner is currently closed temporarily. But if you're ever in the Altoona area, don't hesitate to stop by and check it out. It's definitely worth it. Thank you for exploring the Quaint Corner Children's Museum with me. Special thanks to these contributors for their generosity in helping keep this place alive.
Check it out, man. I mean, this merch is like really sick. Check me out.